Hey, what's up? So I will now install a couple of packages to start working with RxDB in Node.js environment. So the first package, I will type npm i for install. This is a shortcut i. The first package is called level down. This is exist in the documentation. You need to install this one to use RxDB in Node.js. The second one is the um, I can I hope I pronounce it correctly, but it's I think pouch db adapter level db and i will install a couple of things as well uh, rxdb and rxjs and i will install a package called colors this one is a, a package that add colors to the text you display in, com in the command line you see a lot of frameworks display uh, on success a message with text color green or an error uh, in red so I will do the same thing so I will use this package I like it this is my favorite one to do this thing and another thing I would use short I would install short ID package this package generate random IDs like UUID but shorter I like to use it um, I mean you can use your idea I honestly I don't I, I like them both but I just wanted to show you this new package or it's not new but not not all people know about it I think it's really cool if you want just a small ID to unique uh, to make something unique so I want to I won't wait until this install I'll just start so first thing about the folder structure I will create a folder here called db underscore stuff and inside of it I will have two files first one is called create con for connection to JS if you are in Windows don't create a file called con you will have some issues um, I mean you can you can google about it but uh, it has something to do with con communicating with other computers in your network I'm something like this I'm not sure but you can try it actually create a file called con dot anything and uh, it will start behave dif weirdly you can't delete it you can't uh, stuff like that anyway just uh, I will create, uh, create con and another file to export the stuff from here I mean you can export them from any file but I like to create a single file where I uh, give uh, or will I include everything ex exported from this di directory and put import it in that file then export it from that one so anything I want to use from the directory db stuff, no matter how nested in the directory tree in that folder here, I will just import it from the index.js at the top level. I like to use this. So index.js, here I will export everything, okay? So about the create connection, let's start by importing a couple of things. Oops, one second. So const. I will use the destructuring operator and I will require rx uh, db. It's not installed yet as you can see. So what I will get from it, first function is called create rx database. Obviously this will create the database. The second one is called add rx plugin. If you remember from the slide, I use this function to uh, send or you can say to map an adapter or to give the adapter to the rx database uh, package now I'll, I will require our our adapter level down so this is called I will require it like this level down this is the adapter to use it in Node.js now what I will do I will add the plugin to rxjs like this now const I will create a function called init db this would be a sync function because rxdb functions are asynchronous they use promises so I, I need to sync them together so for example I will not sync them to wait so for a specific action let's say I will wait the creation for the database then I will query it like you know so I will just uh, Await specific actions. So I'll create an async function. Okay, everything is stored. Nice. Let's move that. Uh, 
to catch all the errors inside an asynchronous function you you can drop everything in a try catch this will actually even catch the errors uh, rejected by the promises so this is a single point to do catch all the errors happen here which is very nice so first thing let's create our database we will use the create database function create rxdb this will accept an object with, with the specific parameters or specific properties sorry the name I will call it tutorial tutorial and adapter this is our level down adapter uh, I will I think this is it for now yeah but this will return as you can see a promise so we have then and catch I won't use them sorry I won't use catch anything happened here or oh, anything error or, or any rejection happened I will just display it here so console dot error error and something to remember whenever you are console logging anything on the server I mean you should use custom loggers like Winston logger but if you are using this on errors use the console dot error on anything else use console dot log on warnings use console dot one because uh, every process in your operating system have a specific standard input standard output and standard error console.error will put stuff on the standard.error file sorry in the standard error file uh, output which makes you searching for errors a much, uh, much more easier instead of looking on the whole like a huge file of console logs uh, outputs you will look at only the errors so this is something to remember so this returns a promise and I will await it and you can actually put then even if you await something it's totally fine what I will do I will console log created tutorial db or rx db and this to change the color remember we installed this package called colors I will just require this package and that's it and this package uh, if you know JavaScript strings in the runtime will be converted to objects that represents these strings. That's why we can put dot and use some, uh, for example, to lowercase, to uppercase, and these kind of functions on top of these object strings because these literal strings will be converted to objects at runtime. Okay, and what this package do? It will go to the string constructor function that defines these string objects and add some stuff to its prototype. For example, we can use now green, a property called the green. This will change the color of this text in the command line to green. This is why I like this package. Uh, you can access the, these properties like this, and that's it. So, I think that's it for creating a database. But now, since we ins we ins we uh, we uh, added this value or the return of this promise is in stored in this variable we can actually subscribe to a function called dump this will give us everything that happened in this database console log so I will console log everything that happens but if I think about it we are returning void here from this promise so when you chain dot thens on a promise this will return another promise from the return of the function of the function you pass to the then so we are actually not returning and we are awaiting all of this okay so at the end we are returning void so this db is void if I think about it so what I will do this will return actually the db instance I will return it now before that I will console log so this is actually now will we will have text completion yeah because yeah, yeah totally fine because now VS code knows what the return of this was not it always knows but in this case it's void and now it's retaining the original database instance so dot then here and console look this is a way to know everything that happened in your database actually it's in the docs I will put a link in the description but let's go to or I think now we can create a file at the top level called main.js in this file 
I will require the create connection and I will init the database but before that we need to export it like I said in the index.js and we need actually to export it from the create connection so two places we need to export it and I will use the node modules exports so modules or module.exports I will create an object and I will export an object with this property and with this value there's a shortcut for this if you if the key has the same token I mean this is a token everything I mean every word can be considered a token right so if the key has the same token as the value you can do this and this is the same result as this okay so I will export it like this and in index of JavaScript what I will do I will also add an export an object what I will do I will exp uh, spread the exported value from the create connection which is this object so I will export it so I will import it and spread it here and so I will export it again so uh, now I any any time I need to export anything from this folder that exists no matter how many nested in nested levels I will come here and export it so outside from this folder what I will do I mean this just to make the uh, imports more uh, beautiful so I will destruct from the DB stuff and that's it that's the only thing I need to do to import anything from the DB stuff uh, directory no matter how or where you put it there just export it from the index just like this and you will import it uh, like this here this a lot of packages do this right you uh, a lot of people wonder why I can import everything from the same file on from, or from the same path this is what they usually do maybe not the same way but they usually or usually the end result is, is the same so I will get the net DB and as you can see VS code I understood what I am trying to do and let me require also the colors here so I can change the command line colors in net app this is also an asynchronous function so const db will be equal to await in net db but this function at the moment does not return the db instance so I will just return it at the end here so return db Oops. Well, now this will be the db instance and let's try to run it to make sure that nothing or uh, there is no errors if there is no errors everything is fine maybe I in the next video I can start creating a schema so node now main we have some errors uh, constructor requires location string argument yes I think because I mean in the documentation I need to put I th think a path here like so. or something oh yeah my, my bad I, I think this is not the correct way to add the plugin actually need to require here the pouch DB or the pouch db adapter level now this will work yeah so as you can see this console log came from this dump function so it's emitted like what happened and as you can see there is uh, a new database that got created it's not encrypted and there is no password this is the instance token to be honest I'm not sure what this is maybe I will go and look it up uh, this is the name of the database it's called tutorial like here, like this here we had a tutorial and we have an array of collections these are the collections we will start creating them in the next video but um, and there is the green text created the tutorial rxdb this one here so this is very nice and something I think you noticed this folder uh, pops up in the directory list here it's called tutorial this is the name for database now like common common stuff I mean, I'm not sure what these names are it's not common stuff it's just 
uh, maybe a string they use uh, to add like uh, to the end of the database name but all of these are the database itself so you should not uh, delete these I actually talked about this in the I think the first video or the second video yeah when I talked about the adapters these files are the database itself databases are just at the end uh, there is a server for the database that accepts requests and run them but there is also the files part which the data are stored in in a specific way so these are the files we can actually have look file and uh, I mean, I don't think you can, yeah, you can't read them in VS Code. But you should never ever delete these, and you can actually, from the, if you read the documentation, I actually showed you as well, you can actually put a path here to hide these from the developer, so no one can delete them by mistake. But for this tutorial, I will keep them here, and in the next video, I will start working on collections, and defining JSON schema to represent that collection. Thank you.